all right what is going on guys it is your boy tkd123 here back again here on playstation source and uh it's been a pretty slow <laughs> monday morning for news and playstation that is a complete joke we have a lot of things to talk about here but i did want to first touch on psvr2 that was the one that i feel like i have the most overall thought on for the most part while i do have other thoughts on those other things that were announced today but let's start over here with psvr2 of course psvr came out back about four years ago uh it was a pretty cool system those that have it bought it they liked it there was really big games in there like touches effect etc you know but it didn't really really light up the world on fire it is the best selling vr unit you know like it is successful but uh, at least for me personally a lot of things held it back the use of you know old hardware with the controllers the multiple different wires that you had to connect to the ps4 the different processing box that you had to put separately outside of it like it was a whole thing it was something that i was not looking forward to but so far Far, the PSVR 2 is looking pretty good so it is not officially called the PSVR 2 uh, we're gonna call it PSVR 2 just for the sake of just talking about it but they did put up a blog post this morning detailing some new things that will be a part of this new initiative for this new VR system and so it will be coming to the PS5 and uh, they say it will quote enable the ultimate entertainment experience with dramatic leaps in performance and interactivity of course those are things that you are most likely likely to assume will be happening and looks like they are they do promise that there will be more immersion with the new headset as well so you know they're going to talk a lot about how there are going to be features that are on the dual sense that come to psvr and if it's anything like dual sense it's going to be great you know what i'm saying like i'm very 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 excited to see how a vr game will be able to use some of the dual sense technology in its own hardware on vr and using it in vr games is going to be just fantastic right so very 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 excited for that but they did go over some really you know par for the core things that you would expect to be improved on psvr that being of course more resolution for the display in the headset which is great because then you limit that whole like screen door effect where you can see the individual pixels when you have a low poly count and a low resolution on the display that's so close to you and stuff like that so that will be less noticeable and a wider field of view for tracking and input as well that's a great thing as well so that way you'll be able to have more space and be able to utilize more space to be able to overall you know just get more feedback from your psvr game and be more immersed in a wider area in your given household now i did start this whole video by saying that yeah you know the og psvr had this really annoying setup where you had to do like i think it ended up being like five or six cables i'm not even exaggerating i think it was like five or six cables that like were all a whole mess on the floor with psvr users it was a whole thing that's why honestly the main reason why i didn't get it to be completely honest like it just seemed like a whole cumbersome thing and i was definitely hoping that they would improve this whole thing in the future and it looks like they have now while of course it would have been fantastic if psvr 2 was wireless you gotta understand what, what we're working with here it is what it is like quest is wireless so uh you know i'm sure it's it's definitely possible but i feel like with the price point that they are looking at hitting here you gotta assume that might be why we don't have a wireless psvr but it will be a single cord connection to the ps5 honestly that's good enough for me i'll take it you know i'll just buy a really really long cord and it'll be like i'm you know wireless anyway so uh that is a very very good thing to hear i love that prospect of just having just one cord you put it into the ps5 and you're good you know 10 out of 10 you're kumbaya you're in vr doing your thing it's gonna be great it's gonna be great so i like that a lot love that announcement there even though yeah wireless wireless would have been cool and maybe they do like a psvr 2 pro where they put in wireless you know for like a higher price who knows but i think it'd be more wise of them to keep the price low and if that means one cord has to exist one cord has to exist but then they talk a little bit about the new vr controller when the psvr was coming out they were utilizing the playstation move controllers that are pretty old pretty outdated you know not the best tech in the world uh for for you know even when it came out you know back in 2017 for like those standards either you know what i'm saying but this new vr controller they do promise will have key features 
from dual sense so that's where we're going to get our our like haptic feedback i'm assuming maybe our adaptive triggers to be able to feel the tension and stuff like that and i think that all those things are going to just be enhanced so much more in vr it's going to be great it's going to be fantastic anyone here that has played astro bot y'all know what i'm talking about it is going to be a great thing to see uh and feel games with the dual sense in vr i cannot wait for that whole thing to happen and last thing here the big thing that they did note was that of course there will not be a 2021 launch for this system but they do promise for more psvr support in the future with upcoming games like after the fall sniper elite vr humanity etc so there are a ton of other vr games coming to the future but they did want to just you know say hey there will be a next gen vr system aka psvr 2 in the future so overall i loved all this news i'm very down for this system now you know while yes i was hoping for wireless it is what it is if it's going to keep that price low i'm down for just one cord and honestly one cord is completely fine to me anyway like it is what it is you know what i'm saying um but of course having more resolution a bigger field of view better dual sense vr controllers that we'll be getting as well in the future that integrate some dual sense features into that controller um although it's not coming out this year you know i'm very very down for a PSVR 2 that is enhanced, that's better, that 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 is utilizing all of the necessary hardware to really make it this great system. And I think as long as they bring out really, really cool VR titles and very, very cool games that you can play in VR that have separate modes, and if that price is right, I really feel that PSVR 2 can be very, very successful. But for you guys listening and watching, what are your thoughts? Do you want to see a PSVR 2? Are you going to buy it? Do you not want to buy it? Is there something here that they did not say or mention about? about PSVR 2 that you want answered or you want put into PSVR 2, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And make sure also while you are down there, you can check out our description where you can find links to our Discord, our Twitter, and our Anchor link. That way you can listen to our long-form content and podcast format. Those, of course, being the Road 2 series and Save Slot Podcast as well every single Sunday. A lot of you if you enjoyed it, guys, as well. Stay subscribed to PlayStation Store to keep up with the latest and greatest in PlayStation. Thank you all for watching, and as always, Greatness awaits.